It's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are finding yourself here for the first time, please, I hope that you enjoy the video and you can come and join the family by hitting the subscribe button and by hitting the bell for notifications so that you're the first to be notified when I post a video. All right, everybody, I hope that everybody is well. Today, we are gonna kind of talk about some inner stuff that we might need to be dealing with if we are asking us ourselves the question, should I move abroad or shouldn't I? Also, those of you who aren't considering a move abroad, this is still for you. These two things that I wanna tell you about today, it doesn't matter if you're trying to move or not, you can apply these in your everyday life. As a matter of fact, you should apply these in your everyday life. So it's a big question and a big deal to think about moving to another country. And I think these two things are the most simple and the most practical things that you are gonna need to know to, uh, to help you decide. That's it, to help you decide if that is the right decision for you or decide what is the right decision for you, okay? So the first thing is attitude. Yes, attitude. Let You have to check your attitude. Like, what is your attitude like? <laughs> How are you perceived by others? Because your attitude does perceive you. It comes before you. So maybe someone just sees you walking down the street. Somebody um, maybe we introduced to you for the first time. The first thing that we often see is your body language, your facial expressions, the way that you speak, your tone, everything. All of that is your attitude. It is your attitude, it's how you handle things. So when you think about this big question about moving abroad or you just think about your everyday life and how you should be operating, you have to have the right attitude. When your mindset is prepared and ready and you have a good attitude, you are gonna be ready for anything that you're gonna face in that next country or anything that you're gonna face along the way. Anything that you're gonna just deal with in your life Everything you do depends on how you take it in. That's how it's gonna affect you. Your attitude is gonna play the biggest part in that. So make sure that you have the right attitude. I'm not gonna say a good attitude or a bad attitude because I think it's not uh, about good and bad more so than it's about right or wrong. How are you approaching things? How are you thinking about things? How do you want people to see you and to see how you are handling it? That's your attitude, okay? Um, and going into an, a different environment, like <clears throat> you have to be very patient and you have to be very understanding to other cultures and to other people. So that also has to do with your attitude. All right, so the next thing that I definitely think you should be thinking about and considering is passion. Yes, your passion. What are you passionate about? Is this something that you will be able to, to tackle because you believe in it? Because your passion is something that you strongly believe in and that you believe you're meant to be doing. So if you are here, if you are in, if it's whether it's Ghana or any other country that you are deciding to move to, and you have this passion, that passion is going to be what drives you. Your drive is your passion. Your attitude is what's gonna carry you. So you have the drive, the passion, and you have your attitude, and they're gonna go hand in hand. But you have to want it. This is not easy, it's not for the faint at heart, it's not for the weak at heart. You have to want this, you have to be committed to it, and you have to move forward in every way, no matter how hard it gets, if you want to be successful in moving abroad. And also, like I said, for those of you who are not looking to move abroad, if you want to be successful in your life, your passion is what drives you to do what you do. 
and then your attitude helps to carry you there. So get that attitude, get that passion, put it together, and there you have everything you need to make a good decision and to stand by that decision, all right? So I have a little bit of a clip of a conversation between me and some of my friends during our pool time this past week. And so I want to share it with you because we were talking a little bit about this um, moving to another country. And we're talking about Ghana, of course, because that's where we're at now. So we're talking about being here and maybe a little bit of the challenges and what you need, which is what I kind of touched on today with you. So this will be a little bit of a continuing of that conversation. And then we kind of get into some other small conversations that, that I'm going to share with you all as well. So take a look at the clip and I'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye. You guys, you guys have the, 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 the tough love. Look at that. Look at that. It shows that you guys are sure. African. And you know, you it's so African. funny because... It's in your spirit, it's in your blood. Yes. Well, after I found my apartment, before I found my apartment, if this was not in my heart to be here, I would have gave up. Of course. Because finding an apartment was the worst thing in the world. I tell everybody that all the time. That was the worst experience I've ever had. Mm -hmm. But if it was for like anybody that was wanting to come and just thought that it would be a good idea to come, mm -hmm. and they didn't have the passion to come, mm -hmm. they would have went home. Because I sure would have went home too. I know my cousin, people that were born and raised in Ghana, they wanted to move back and they couldn't, they couldn't do it and they ran away back to Wow. So, yeah. yeah, so for wow. you to have, You just have to want to, you, you want to have to want it yeah, bad enough yeah. and know that you're meant to be here at the yeah. right place at the right yeah. time. Like, but I mm -hmm. feel like that's with any anything. You have to know that that's the place where you have to be in that season. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't think anyone ever wants to walk onto the edge, right? And like, exactly. exactly. You have to like and you know the that. unknown, and right? Yeah. You have to know that that's where it's for you at the moment. And I think exactly. that's what people have that fear of, right? Because some people are like, oh, maybe I'm gonna do this, and then they go out and they're like, mm, this is not what I thought. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's no in between. No in between. Exactly. You have, between. you have to be committed because the challenges alone yes. will take you out. So yeah. Mm -hmm. The challenges yeah. I face in Ghana. Yeah. So I face it because I was going to see CNN news like, right? <laughs> right? Yes. Because they don't have, uh, they don't have a sense of um, urgency in Ghana. Mm -hmm. They don't have a sense of. Um, I love that. You know, it's weird. I know it sounds weird, yeah, but it. no, it's it's a good thing in some, in some cases. Like, urgent in the states, like you're just kind of like. I think it depends on what the situation it is. No, it, yeah. it does depend. Yeah. But I think a lot of times too it depends where you're coming from, right? So if we have these luxuries mm -hmm. and you don't bring my meal out, like that to me, like it's not a big deal. But so some people be like, ah, thirty minutes, 30. Mm -hmm. but then that's also something that's awesome because when I'm in the states and. Everything is so fast paced all the time. It's exhausted. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, you yeah, crash yeah, and you're sure. just like, I'm done. I'm mm -hmm. tired. Yeah. So, yes. Yeah. But you yeah. know what? That, so, so stuff like that is all mind thing. Mm -hmm. So you have to set your mind up. If you set your mind up in a way, you can, you can take it. So if it takes too long, you're not going to flip out the crazy. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. You know how it is there. Exactly. It's not yeah. already just done. They actually have to go and make it. Yeah. yeah. But so that's fine. Things, so but it's communicate fine. that. But communicate yeah. that. <laughs> That's it. There's a restaurant out here, right? A five-star restaurant. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you, the money you charge in the Africa, you can't charge. Right? Yeah. You can't pay for it. Right. So I had a friend that came from Canada and we went to Canada for breakfast, and then um, she ordered food and she said she was allergic to shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we didn't do it. They bring you the fish. And they took the shrimp out. No, it was the shrimp out. So she uh -huh. said it's fine. She told she she explained to her that she put the omelet to the she rubbed me out. And she already came into it. Oh. So she knew because of the. Oh, she knew that was her. Her throat was closing up? Yeah, her throat was closing up. Oh, my God, yeah. I have no idea how to stick it to so I'm going to be praying to God, like, I hope this. Oh. Happy pen. Is she yeah. have a happy pen? Yeah, she has a happy pen. Okay, yeah. good. So, um, that's, that's, that's the thing that they do this, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah you have to. So, um, they bring her, they bring her out another place with no shipping, but they charge her for gold. Wow. Yeah. So then when you, yeah. when you try to explain to them, like, oh, well, she, she should have known it was shrimp inside because she ate it. Yeah, stuff like that. 
I can't tell her. Yeah, that's I negligence. That's yeah, that is. So I, I, I went, I went, I went, I went to work in hood. You know, right. Uh, As you should. Right. Yeah, right. But I shouldn't have to get like that. Right. Know, I'm trying to fit in and be respectful like this. Right. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I see that. Then something that happens. Was, yeah. Uh, it's common courtesy. Yeah. 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 Exactly. For your business. You want your business to be on point with customer service. Because there's a lot of business out here in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's so many restaurants. So you yes. want to see business. Mm. So it's especially if you're paying more than the, you know what I mean? You're paying, you're paying more. more. Believe